The city of O'Fallon receives uh, funding from the federal government in the form of a community development block grant. So what that means for our community is that we're able to provide housing repair programs, transportation assistance, and emergency homeless prevention, as well as to be able to assist with a few public facility improvements to ensure that they're ADA compliant. Uh, the bulk of our programming is our home improvement loan program where we provide uh, zero interest forgivable loans if the resident remains in their home for five years, and that's up to a $5,000 loan. We also have our siding program, that's $10,000 grant to be able to address, to install and or repair siding on individuals' homes. And we have our transportation programs. We provide uh, medical transportation for senior citizens to and from their medical appointments, as well as for individuals with disabilities to medical appointments and other essential living type appointments. And lastly, we provide money to an area nonprofit to support emergency homeless prevention to assist O'Fallon residents with mortgage assistance, rent, uh, rental assistance, utility assistance, so that way they're not kicked out of their homes. To better serve residents with a wider variety of issues, the city has other fundraising tools available. Each year, the city hosts a golf tournament uh, to raise money for the program Project Tone, which stands for Helping O'Fallon Maintain Excellence. This program is geared towards individuals who made this, meet the same income qualifications, same residency or qualifications as the Home Improvement Loan Program, but can cover a little bit more. So if a resident qualified, we'd be able to offer them the Project Home funding. So Project Home's been around uh, for at least 12 years, and so every year, come to find out, there was a little bit of money left over. You know, we help four or five plus households a year because we typically raise about $20,000 at the golf tournament. So that averages four or five thousand dollars max on a house. Uh, so we've had you know a thousand dollars here, thousand dollars there, five hundred dollars. So that's added up over the years. So what we're going to be able to do based on some funding that we um, had to be able to assist residents with housing repairs, we're going to be able to make those changes now. What those changes look like is that for individuals who had already been through the Home Improvement Loan Program, they're going to be able to reapply for additional funding and the same qualifications will apply. They have to meet the same income requirements, they will have to reapply, uh, they will be able to remedy the same eligible repairs and um, they will then have a lien put on their home for another five years. So let's say they remedied their window issue but now their HVAC unit and they're still on that same fixed income, they're, you know their circumstances haven't changed but they're still active involved members of the O'Fallon community. We want to make sure we're able to help them. Since our public assistance programs are largely supported with federal funds, certain obligations are required by the Department of Housing and Urban Development. We do host public hearings twice a year, um, and so as part of that public hearing process, we invite residents to talk about what they see, what they need, you know, what would best benefit them. The Community Development Block Grant's uh, primary focus is, as it's through community development, is housing. And so here in O'Fallon, what that looks like is housing repair. So majority of our funding is able, does in fact go to address housing concerns. Uh, we do have, we are able to use 15% of our funding to provide to, for public services, so that's where we help with emergency homeless prevention, where we um, offer funding uh, for medical transportation for seniors and most recently uh, for individuals with disabilities. So we like to survey the public to better understand what their needs are. So in a couple of years, if siding's no longer an issue, we can go through the proper process, follow our citizen participation plan, reach out to HUD and say, hey, maybe we want to do roofing as a project. So we are able to, based on the input from residents, um, you know, be able to address the needs that they bring to us. Contact the city's public assistance department for more information.